The Hernandez General has a ton of fancy items for your locker, offering posters, sprays, stickers, books, games, pretty much everything. And then there's the Super Sea Snail, a type of currency that also became a luxury good for our lockers, at a price of 333,333 for a single one super sea snail. Why is that price? Anyway, I bought it. And now we head towards my locker and try to find out what is so special about it. Um, but I first gotta put it somewhere. Skip! Here we go. I put it down here. And we can already see it's not that big. You can easily overlook it if it's not like in the center of your locker. Um, let, let us turn it. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's a super sneeze snail. What am I supposed to say about this? It's, we've seen these things before. And I have no idea and no good explanation to why they are the most expensive item in the entirety of Splatoon 3. I don't get it. And I hope that some of you might have an explanation or you have a, a theory, an idea, if there's something that I'm missing that I just didn't find out yet or didn't heard about yet. I'd be interested. Because for what they are, I don't think they are worth all this all this money and the grind that you gotta do in order to make the money in the first place. And I'm also curious as to why you can buy them as decoration for your locker when they originally are a currency that is only obtainable via Splatfest. So they, they have some, some value to them. But now in our lockers, where we can do nothing with them, there's no exchange, they just vibe in our lockers. I don't know. I, I hope that you have some engagements to this, some ideas on why Super Sea Snails are the way they are. And with that, <laughs> thanks for watching a short kind of fun video. I just wanted to get this out. I had this fun idea. And just did it. <laughs> yeah, share it. Like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. And we'll see each other in another video. Until then, bye-bye.